start the podcast. Well, okay. So. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode two of Late Night Bra Moments. Yes, sir. I have Tyler <laughs> and Matt here. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about conspiracy theories. Okay. What do you guys want to start off with? Hmm. Aliens. Aliens? Let's talk about aliens, yeah. Why not? Okay, okay. Yes, so let's Star first Wars. let's first get what? the question out of the, <laughs> out of the way. Are aliens real or are they myths? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh I think I think they might be real. Yeah. They are real. There's a possibility. There is I I believe that there is a hundred percent possibility that there are aliens out there. Yes, sir. Just because there's been so there's the universe is so big. There has one planet. There has to be something out there. There has to be other life because there's no way out of the entire solar system there's one planet. I mean the universe. There's one planet. That's like okay. It's an awfully hot coffee. What if Emma knows an alien? Okay. What if there was an awfully hot coffee pot planet? <laughs> And the universe is as full of m ms <laughs> dropping awfully hot coffee pots on Donald Trump. <laughs> Yo, what? That's actually a good, that's a good theory. Okay. You're buffoons. Yeah, okay, we're, we're, Max, we're tired. Okay, real talk, real talk, real talk. Max, Here's we're tired. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's, let's all give our... We're all just a piece of bacteria on top of genes. That's why the sky blue and when it's gray like when it's gray out we're, your in, we're in the dryer or washer or whatever and when we rain is when we're getting washed all right yeah yeah, yeah. no listen okay. hear me out hear me out i think we're talking about aliens and then, like yeah we are but and then, like <laughs> how is this going cloud, clouds are like rips in the jeans that you can't see but they're there dude i just believe <laughs> Yes, so, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So right. back to aliens. I have a theory. So you have a theory. Okay. So the universe is so big, and it's it's always that's what she big. said. It's always <laughs> it's, it's always expanding. So there has that's to what she said. there. There has, <laughs> there has to be something out there. There has to be other life organisms, even if it's a bacteria. Because bacteria is aliens. Anything foreign to our planet is an alien. Well, Mexican. <laughs> you mean Roswell? <laughs> I didn't say the full word, so you, so you can't end this because Actually. of that. I didn't say anything offensive. Okay. Actually, technically, technically, aliens are real because uh, the... Like, term. you ever heard They're, of illegal aliens? Yeah, the correct yeah, term is yeah. illegal aliens. Yeah. So, aliens are real. Yeah. Gang, gang. Okay, <laughs> so let's let's well, talk now. about the theoretical aliens. So, like, you know the, you know the big, like, big head, giant eyes, tiny body, what if they're, arms and legs. You ever seen Destroy All Humans? Yes. What if they're like that, but they're, like, microscopic? So, there's sperm cells? Yeah. Wait, oh, uh, like, what if? What if really there are flies? Wait, 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 wait. What if wait, wait, I'm about to bro- blow your mind. You want to make a so you know a like problem? a sperm cell. So we're all like a sperm cell. Yeah, we're, we're, we're basically walking sperm. So your dad and your mom, you know, they made they made loveies. Yes. Sir. So the sperm is alien to your mom's body. We're alien eggs. So we're alien. Dude, this is the most, like, awesome content I would Shut up. <clears throat> Stop it. Right. Um, shut up before I kiss you. Alright, so... Okay, like, shut up. What if... I don't know, but, like... You know how, like, um, on your iPhone, like, the camera is, like... Yes, it's, like, red. So, like, what if that's actually, like, a little camera that the government's actually spying us with? Bro, they think see about it. Bro, they're seeing the I feel, I feel next. Like, think about it. Like, it sees your face to the face of the government. CIA agent. <laughs> <laughs> the government has your face now. Yes. So, like, you can they also have your thumbprint if you put it in your phone. Right. 
get my facial recognition. Yes, sir. So, like, all right, what else do you think? Like, do you believe ghosts exist? Oh, yes. Yeah. Ghosts are real. Yeah. I, like, okay. Let's, my, oh, let's, wait, let's tell on. some ghost stories. Actually. So, all right, so, my... I call, I call no, I'm not talking about time. No, no, no. I'm not talking about time. All right. Let me, wait, let me no. explain. No, my... No, let no, me explain what I think in my life. Right? Rock, paper, scissors, I stay in Buckeye Lake in the house by Pizza Cottage. And yeah, 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 before yeah. we would like go in the door, we'd like see faces inside the wooden door window before we walk in the front door. And then in the in the middle of the night one night, my brother woke up crying in the toy room because he couldn't get up because he followed the boy he found in there. And he said they wouldn't let him get up and stuff. And then one time when we were playing hide and seek in the toy room. We had like this really old big TV and we kept it in the toy room because we had nowhere else to put it. Yeah. And I was beside it and like I had plenty of room to move around and stuff and I couldn't move at all. Like I was frozen in place. Like something was like holding me still perfectly. Like it was like I was in the tightest place possible. I, I could not move an inch. And I was like screaming and crying and begging for help. Like they had to pull me. And it was like really like forceful pull too. It's like your poltergeist stuff going on in that house. Yeah, basically. And we got out. Like okay. we moved I from like Buckeye, I, we moved from me... Buckeye Lake to Pleasantville. <laughs> yes, yeah, bro. bro. Okay, yeah, so I'm living, me... I'm living there right and now. Like, and like I, I haven't really like seen nothing there. But like I, ha I seen one thing though. Like there's usually something on the steps, and it creeps me out sometimes because like in the middle of the night you're here just walking. Then like no, nothing goes in the door, it just like stops there, like five minutes, and then goes away. Bro, have you seen Have it's you weird. seen Ghost Adventures? Yeah, who hasn't seen Ghost Adventures? I love that show. It's okay. so real too. Okay, so basically, some my, of it's fake though. We my all grandpa used to live in like that you know the trailer park, like not yeah. too far down the road from yeah. your house. Uh huh. Well, he used to live there, and every time we go to his house, we drive by that house, and like. Occasionally, I'd look and like I'd see that face and like I get cold chills every time. It was so fucking scary. I get scared so easily though. Like yeah. someone could walk up behind me and like not say a thing. I turn around and I jump. Don't even start. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you the story. So we were in North Carolina. It was probably around two. Oh yo. <laughs> Okay, so bro, they're just angry. So it was like I would say 2012, 20, between 2012 and 2015, it was somewhere. So this Your was this was when <laughs> no, this is when <laughs> I first was able to stay in my own room. Like I had my own room, I had my own TV and stuff, and. In the middle of the night, I was just watching YouTube. It was probably about 2.30 in the morning. Silent. I just hear stomping up the stairs. And then just complete silence. And my door just creaks open. And there's literally no one there. Like, I said, I said, hello, mom, you need something? And there was nothing. So I turn on my flashlight on my phone. Nothing there. I walk out in the hallway. The bathroom light is on. No one in there. And then I go into my parents' room, and my mom is asleep, and my dad is like on his back, like half sitting up. And you know how you lay up, yeah. lay down, and like his neck is up? Yeah. And his eyes were open. Did you notice his eyes open or something? Yeah, he, no, he didn't. He wasn't asleep. He wasn't asleep? He was like breathing through his mouth. Really? Yeah, and he like turns his head, like he jerks his head to me. I'm like, bruh, bruh. No, that's a late night bruh moment. So I turned on the light, and he falls back. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm climbing in bed with you. Man, we're sleeping. <laughs> no, I straight up said, I I woke both of them up. I was like, we gotta dip, we gotta <laughs> get out of this house. He's like, what's going on? And my dad doesn't move. Like, I'm like. So I wake him up, he's like, what's going on? It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I was like, it's like 12, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's, so, that's spooky. Yeah, it was spook. 
And then in this house that we're in right now. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Remember when Keegan and Addison were here? And we saw something through that door. It was closed. It was closed. And that spooked me. But when I was down here alone, it was when Mason, Mason was about 17 at the time. I was about 11. So it was on the weekend. I was playing, I was playing, I think I was playing Mario down here. Yeah. And the light turns on. I'm like, okay, Mason's just home. And doors, doors not open. I don't hear a door open. I don't hear anyone walking. And lights just go on and off. I'm like, okay, it's just like electricity. I don't mind it. And then the lights come on and the door opens. Like that door down there that we came in. Yeah. Not the garage door, but the... Yeah. And... Yeah, I know what you're talking I look down the hall. I turn on the light. I'm like, Mason, you're home. And he was like, and no one said, no one answered. I was like, I'm trying to break in. So I go, this, this is when I had my first set of golf clubs. So I, had, I got my putter. Yeah. And about five minutes later, I would say, there, the door closed. Like, it slammed shut. I'm like, okay, Mason's home now. I look back, and the lights turn off. I'm like, bruh. So I barricaded that door. I sleep with the lights on. There's something on the TV. Like, I'm playing stuff on the TV. Yeah. I didn't sleep that night. Oh, imagine. I have a story about last night. Hold on, hold on. Can I tell, can I tell my story first? Yeah. yeah so, yeah. like, all right, I have a couple, actually. Spooky time with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, like, my old apartment? Yeah. Uh, it was right by uh, General Sherman. Well, yeah. like, uh, we had, like, a ghost. We call him Big John. Like he was like Addison's it's, ghost. It's like a bro. Remember that? Ri- okay, it's like a. His name's George. It's like the one at Buckeye Lake, but like it would just stay on the steps and sometimes open the screen door. And that thing was spooky. Like was, so apparently weird. That, that house was like built like in the 1800s, and like a black man was apparently killed there. So like his ghost haunts the stairs where he was murdered on. I also have a story about my old house in Hunter. But then, here's another story. It was like, like, it was Christmas. It was like two days after Christmas. And, like, Drew's just, like, sitting in the living room. And so am I. And then, uh... Well, Drew's my brother, by the way, but, uh... Yeah. So, like, he's sitting in the living room, and, like, we have this, like, little hallway where our living room was at the time. And, like, he saw something peek around the corner. And it was, like, a big, like, dark figure. And it, like, laughed like a little girl. I, I even heard it. Like, it's like a little child laugh. And then we, we, we asked it to leave. We see, like, a black shadow just, like, slowly, like, drudge across the kitchen. And I, like, open the screen door and then, like, leave. Like, I'm not even kidding. The thing was so scary. Bro, okay, tell, tell yours now. Okay, so last night, it was 2.30, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. My dad's passed out on the floor next to me. His wife or his fiance is in their bedroom. Um, the babies are asleep in their room. We're all upstairs. Nobody's downstairs. The only people downstairs are the dogs in their kennel. And so the dogs can do anything. No. And like I go to the bathroom and I get out. Now I'm really like, do I hear? footsteps and then I stand completely still like I stop breathing and everything and I just hear somebody walk up the step okay so like here the steps go up here there's a gate here and then there's like a line you can look over it's kind of like a balcony over to the steps oh, like, yeah, no, that no. goes out like this it's like an L shape and once it ends it it's there's a hallway here here's my here's the master bedroom go this way take a left that's the bathroom so I'm coming out from that bathroom I'm rounding about, and I'm at the L, and I'm looking over the steps, and, like, I hear somebody walking up the steps, and nobody's there. And then, like, later that night, I heard, so, he has, he has, um, two, like, older, like, not really older, but, like, they're one 
started first grade this year and one's starting kindergarten next year. So like they can walk and talk. But they weren't they weren't there this weekend, so there was nobody downstairs. And then all of a sudden I just hear a giant smack against the ground. It was like I could tell it was a toy from the from their toys and stuff. And I just like waited out and eventually like everything just stops and the light so the lights in the house, if one light's on for the upstairs, then all the lights are on. So just just the downstairs lights turn off completely. And like the chandelier start flickering. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna watch it on YouTube, uh, not gonna mind this. <laughs> and I did that till five. Okay, so Max, you remember when I babysit for my brother, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was me. Not me. I was that was a chair. Okay, I I yeah. was that. Well, he <laughs> has. I had to babysit his fiance's two kids. This was before he had his kid, and I was babysitting for them one night. Um, I was letting the boy play Hello Neighbor on my brother's Xbox, and I was kind of that was my phone. I was kind of just sitting there watching them, and I, the little girl, Athena, I had her sitting on the bed. That's a nice name. I had her sitting on the bed, and she just starts talking out of nowhere, and me and Braxton just, like, look at each other, and then we, like, turn around, and she's just looking at something, having a full-on conversation with it, like, like, there's a real person there, just, like, talking back and forth with her. And, like, that's not even the only time it's happened. Like, I'll, I'll, like, talk to my brother, and, like, they'll tell me about how she'll just start talking to random people. And, like, how it's not just one specific name she says repeatedly. Like, it's multiple people, but it's the same names. So, like, she can't be making this up because it's repeated, and she obviously wouldn't remember something she made up. Because she's, like, fucking, she just started kindergarten this year. So obviously her attention span isn't like like it's like two minutes. Yeah, right. It's not like large enough to remember something a month later, but like this has been happening since like I started babysitting for them. So like that's why like I won't let her go into the living room alone because one time I like let her go in there. Like I was in. So here's the here's the dining room. Here's the and then there's like a little entrance way to the living room and then. There's a curtain blocking off the master bedroom, which is where my brother kept his Xbox and stuff. And one time, I heard the door open and close. And I was like, Athena, are you okay in there? She goes, yeah, my friend just came in. And I go, uh, what? She, she goes, come here, they want to meet you. And I walk out there, and she's just standing there by herself, alone Ooh, in the dark. Bruh. Oh my fucking god. I was, mm, I literally have cold chills right now. Dude. Just even talking about it. Bro, when bro, I was telling I my swear, story I'm about. I'm getting creeped out. Like, okay. There's also this hallway right here, and I'm like looking at it. Yeah. To see if there's anything in there, and I'm getting kind of scared. Okay. Scared. So, do you guys believe, have you all, like, suffered a animal loss? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. I had. My my dog, my Chihuahua Ivy, may her rest in peace. Uh, we got her. I need to like sit next to you. We got her cremated, and she's in my room. So I'm sitting in my room one day, like it's I'm doing homework. Like this happened like a year ago. I'm like, I always like talk to her because I don't don't think that I'm weird or anything like talking to my dead pet but I'm <laughs> like I always like I talk to her I'm like sup Ivy how you doing I'm like I know she's not gonna answer me back but I just like to talk to her what? so one night I was d- getting done with my homework I was about to walk downstairs and eat something it was like seven o'clock so the cremation box where her ashes are are like on on this like pedestal like it was on a pedestal right and i go downstairs i eat and i come back up and the pedestal is on my bed yeah like and it's on my dresser like 
You're not going to move it without some, someone moving that. Right. So I move it back. I'm like, Mom, did you, did you touch Ivy? She's like, no. And I was like, Dad, did you? And Mason was still at home. So yeah. I asked him, and he said no. So I, I'm just like, that's weird. Why is, why is stuff being moved around my house or in my bedroom? So I go to bed that light, night. And I hear it fall over. This is like 11 o'clock. So I turn on the light, and it's falling over. So I put it back up. I go back to sleep. Then it falls over again. I'm like, yeah. okay, there's something wrong with this pedestal. So I take it off the pedestal, and it falls over again. Right, so I'm spooked. Mm -hmm. So you know how you like go down to your parents? It's like I had a bad dream. So yeah. I pulled that and I was like, this wasn't a dream though. Cool. So I tell them about it. And it's like, come on, just get in bed. So I said, no, I'll be fine. Just come up and watch. Just come up and see this. So we go back upstairs yeah. and it's back on the pedestal. Yeah. So I'm like, and there's like, just you're telling a lie. Just go back to bed. I was like, Okay, so I wake up the next morning. I didn't. I didn't get anything that last night, and I hear like claws. We didn't have Sasha yet. Yeah. So I heard like running up the stairs, like a a dog running up the stairs. I was like, "Is it getting a dog?" So I open the door. I'm like, "Your puppy," and there's nothing there. <laughs> and I'm like, "Bruh." So I close my door. I'm like, "Well, I get." It was like in the morning when I woke up. So I went to go shower, get ready for school. Then I hear it running down the stairs. So I go downstairs, I'm dressed, I'm eating breakfast. And I hear my claws in the, uh, like the wood upstairs that we have. I'm like, what's going on? So I check outside, I'm like, is there any leaves like tapping on the window or anything? There's nothing. So then when I'm leaving, I hear a bark, I'm like, Bro, where are they hiding this dog at? <laughs> so I go to school. It was like the, it was like the last week of school. It was like the testing week. It was called Terra Nova. Yeah. So they had to take this test. It was like a bubble quiz that was like no, I remember that too. Hundred questions we had to do in two hours. So, I know we just had like recess. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so I come back home. I come in the garage, I eat my, like, I eat lunch, like, I eat a snack after school. So I eat it, and I hear those claws in the wood again. I'm like, I asked my mom, I was like, did we get a new dog? He said no. It's like, I keep hearing, like, claws and stuff, and something barked at me this morning. So like, it's probably a, probably like a stray dog or a stray cat or something. I'm like, I want to get in the house without us noticing it. And she didn't. She didn't answer me because she probably thought that was funny. Mm -hmm. So, when I went to bed that night, like, there was something that jumped up on my bed. And I was like, what's going on? Like, I could see four, like, indentations of legs. I'm like, like, I reach over, I, like, pay, and it's, like, cold. I'm like, you yep. what's going on here so uh, that's that's the story like nothing happened after that <laughs> and I've been spooked ever since so like you touched it and like it never happened again I got touched it and then nothing happened okay. like it's been sitting still yeah, for like that, two years now it has like like yeah like a spirit has a cold energy that goes off mm-hmm like it's something I feel like ghosts are here because they're either guiding us they want that us to remember them yeah like what if like or they have unfinished business like what what if they don't know they're dead though and like they're trying to like get attention by like making all this noise but they're not getting the attention they want okay so I have like a really scary story. Like it makes. Right, hold me, on. Let's like, just like we're we're exceeding like, over twenty minutes right now. So like let's do one more story and then we'll we'll cut the okay. podcast off.
So. No, no, no. Just cut the video cut off. Cut the video off, yeah. Yeah, because podcasts can go for however long right. they want. Well, yeah. okay, so like this was like I just when I was just sitting, like listening to Max's yeah. Max's story, just like remembering it, like my eyes started like watering. It's like I was so petrified. I, so and one just day. Thinking, here, let me interrupt you for a second. Just thinking about like dead animals like makes me cry. Like I'm like. It's like Pet Cemetery. Bro, I hope that's not the case. But right. no. Um, See you 